This is Audible. Audible Studios presents The X Files Stolen Lives. Written by Joe Harris and Chris Carter. Adapted for audio and produced by Dirk Mags. Directed by William DeVries. Starring David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson. Also starring Mitch Pileggi, William B. Davis, Tom Braidwood, Dean Hagland, and Bruce Harwood. With a full cast. Pro-choice is pro-death! Pro-choice is pro-death! Abortion is murder! Abortion is murder! Pro-choice is pro-death! Murfreesville Women's Health Clinic, North Carolina, 9.13 a.m. Abortion is murder! I can do this. These people will not hurt me. I can do this, though the prospect is daunting. It is the right thing to do. The Lord is my shepherd. He will not abandon me. I will never abandon you, my child. I believe in you. Baby killer! Don't hurt your baby. Murderer! And I am not afraid. Oh, here, hon. Let's wrap you up warm and get you inside away from these cellets. Easy now. I'm the duty nurse and I've got you. You are doing God's work, child. I know it now. Huh? Come inside. Thank you. The X-Files, Stolen Lives, starring David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson. Episode 1, Immaculate. Oh, good, you've got your gown on. Now, I'll need your signature where indicated on the release forms. All right, then. Do you have anybody with you here today, sweetheart? Yes. Well, where are they? Oh... I am with you. You'll see. You sure you're okay? Faith is favored. Yes. I will never leave you, child. I know you see this. I see. You know, you do look familiar, Joni. Ms. Cartwright, would you like to come through? Thank you. Good morning. Hello, doctor. I know you. Cartwright. Cartwright. Hmm. If you'd hop up on the table and pop your feet into the stirrups. Uh, I'm sorry. Have we seen you before? I don't think so, Doctor. Why, you're shaking like a leaf. Look, I know the protesters outside probably rattled you, but they're mostly good people with deeply held beliefs. Yes. And they can't come in here. There's a court order that keeps them outside the fence. Yes. Now let's take a look. Hey, I just want you to lean back and try to relax, okay? This will all be over in just a few... Oh my. What's this? Doctor, this... What happened? Oh, look. It's the girl. How can anybody survive that? She hasn't got a scratch. You okay, miss? Some have fled, but you remained. You remained? We remained? Not all of those called will listen, but everyone will answer soon enough. You wanted to burn it to the ground, yeah. didn't you? Damn straight we did. You want to burn it all to the ground. You want to burn it all to the ground? Yes. Yes, we do, don't we? Hell yeah! Wait, there is no other choice? There is no other choice. There is no other choice. Will you follow us? Follow us. Sure, we'll follow you. Try and stop us. You're doing the Lord's work. Come, we have much to do. We have much to do. We have much to do. FBI headquarters. Washington, D.C., 11.05 a.m. Agent Doggett disappeared while supervising counter-terrorist operations near the disputed oil pipeline in Wyoming. Agent Reyes disappeared hours later in the same area. Agent Hendricks died at the same location of a brain aneurysm. Agent Nesmith, Agent Schultz, we can't let this trail go cold. Hard to see how it can go much colder, A.D. Morales. We haven't had a single good lead. There's got to be something. You'll have to start combing through everything you have again. Supposing they're dead. Then find me the bodies. 
See, Scully, I told you they'd start without us. Huh. Agents Mulder and Scully, come in. Thank you, Agents Nesmith and Schultz. Spooky stuff, Mulder. No, really. That's original. Mulder, I wish I could say it was you Agent Nesmith was talking about. What's the case? Well, it's in North Carolina, and our field office in Charlotte is going to take point. The Attorney General is a little cautious about Washington getting involved. There are jurisdictional and ethical issues here, so we need to tread lightly. Tread lightly. That's us. That'll be the day. Joni Cartwright, age 16. This is a still frame captured from a security camera feed in the Women's Health Clinic, Murfreesville, North Carolina. This is that explosion at an abortion clinic this morning? Correct. I can see protesters beyond those doors. That can't have been an easy decision for her. She was one of the victims? She was a survivor. Witnesses at the scene described her as gentle and quiet before and after the explosion. And this requires our attention, why? Just stay with me for a moment. Our explosives unit and CFSRU are already down there. Early suspicion is leaning toward a crude fertilizer bomb with a plastic explosive triggering mechanism she was able to smuggle inside. What was the death toll? Six dead, including the doctor working at the clinic this morning. Another four in critical condition. What do we know about her home life? She was kicked out of the house recently by her mother. From what's already known, she had been a patient at the same clinic a month ago. You mean she's already had an abortion there? The nurse didn't recognize her until she'd already made it into the examination room with a bomb up her gown. Creative. But it sounds like the field office in Charlotte is the better bet. I imagine some of the local population might be some degree of happy this clinic was put out of business. Why bring us in on this? Because analysis of frames from a different security camera video also turns up this, Agent Mulder. I don't see anything. Are you kidding? Look there. You mean around her head? Girl's got a halo. A trick of the light, surely. The image has been doctored somehow? Initial video forensics of the footage pulled from the camera show no sign of doctoring. Has anyone else got this? No, we're gonna keep it quiet for now. That part of the state is rather devout in its faith. Best not to give anybody anything to fixate over. In light of recent events in Saudi Arabia, as well as some long-held hostilities towards the X-Files division still rooted into the culture of this bureau, I don't need to remind you that we are always under scrutiny here, agents. So let's figure this one out and put it to bed as quietly as we can. Understood. Scully, I know you're a mother yourself, and you gave your baby up for adoption. I hope this doesn't... I'll be fine. Thanks. Keep me posted. Sure thing. Oh, before we go, couldn't help hearing you talking about agents Doggett and Ray's as we came in? How's the search for them going? We anticipate an imminent break in that investigation. That bad. You have a plane waiting, Agent Mulder. Copy that. Just take it slow, Nurse Johnson. You've been badly burned. I think she knows that, Scully. I wasn't certain it was her at first. We see so many girls in over their heads, alone, desperate. Sometimes we're the only people who ever know about their situation besides themselves. Was there any indication she was carrying a bomb when she came in? Well, she was acting strangely, but then most girls her age too. When did you realize you knew her? The doctor called her in for the initial examination. I stayed in reception, looking back through the records to see how she could be so familiar. When I found her file, I went straight to the exam room to tell the doctor. I opened the door and there was a blinding light. The explosion? No, before the explosion. Are you sure? I could never forget it. A brilliant radiance. I almost had to shield my eyes. And what would cause that? Well, it's gonna sound crazy, but it was like there was this third person. A shining presence in the room with them. He will not abandon you. Maybe the detonator flash? But how could the girl have survived? I am with you. Yes. Yes? Nurse Johnson, why do you think Joni Cartwright did this? Oh, I don't know, honey. 
This community is filled with plenty of God-fearing people, it's true. But nothing like this ever happened. Do you recall Miss Cartwright's prior visit to the clinic? It was about a month ago. That time was to actually have an abortion performed. A young man brought her, I think. Was it the father? Could you remember his name? Or uh, what he looked like? I'm not certain. I've seen so many, so many young women in a desperate situation. Try and remember, please. I... I... The boy's name is Daniel. The boy's name is Daniel. Are you sure? A second ago you said you didn't... I can tell you where to find him. I... I can tell you where to find him. I'll call this into Morales. Maybe the quiet approach is best here. You visit what family we know of and try and get some idea what Joni Cartwright is up to. I'll swing by Daniel's place and say hi. Typically, a fugitive of the Eric Rudolph or Unabomber variety will go into seclusion. Mulder, look. Her lips are moving. She's nodding, like she's having a conversation. Is there some post-hypnotic suggestion kicking in here? Well, there were witnesses who say Joni Cartwright walked out of that clinic and pretty much asked for volunteers to join her softball team. A bunch of people followed her away like sheep. There's more to this, Scully. The Baptist Church, Murfreesville, North Carolina, 3 p.m. Mrs. Cartwright, my name is Agent Scully. I'm with the FBI. I need to talk to you about what happened earlier today. Mrs. Cartwright, an entire complement of FBI and police are going to be searching for your daughter, and the charges are gravely serious. If you have any information you think might help us find her before anybody else gets hurt, that would be... She's... she's a good girl. My Joni. Good God. Your eyes. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you were blind. Ah, but I can see. All around us are angels' wings. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be. Oh my God. He is a father of mysteries, is he not? Oh, uh, Pastor, I'm sorry. Forgive me. My name is Alvin Johns. I am the pastor to this congregation. I've helped look after the family since their patriarch left Mrs. Cartwright a widow some years back. Pastor Johns, my name is Scully. I'm an agent with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. How do you do? I understand this is likely a chaotic time for you and your congregation. Why don't we walk a bit, Agent Scully? We can leave Mrs. Cartwright to her prayers. She won't be going home till I lock up at sundown. Sunny Days Trailer Park, Murfreesville, North Carolina, 3.48 p.m. Hello? Anybody around? Just you, Mulder. Walking past trees hung with crucifixes. Hello? Moderately godless heathen requesting permission to enter this sacred ground. The blinds down in all these trailers could conceal any number of watching eyes. Anybody tell me where I can find the trailer belonging to Daniel Hernandez? I'll take that as a no. Oh. Mailboxes. Johnson. Brooks. Ah. A beat up one saying Hernandez with a beat up trailer to match. Daniel Hernandez? It's gonna be locked. Or not. Daniel? I'm a federal agent. Is anyone home? One messy trailer. Beer cans. Ashtrays and... Oh, this is interesting. A little light bedtime reading, Daniel. Demonology. The place marker. A photo of Joni. Who the hell... Daniel, I'm... Oh, shit! Hey! Wait! Stay away from me! I just need to talk. Get out of my way, people! Oh. Oh. 
Oh, so this is where everyone hangs out in a weird, looming way. What is it with everybody's eyes? Shit, I don't know. In the darkness, we see the light. Ours is what you'd likely describe as a town of hard-working, God-fearing people, Agent Scully. We put a premium on loathing the sins of men around here. But we struggle to love he or she who sins just the same. Even if they blow up a clinic and kill its doctor? I simply cannot imagine any of our neighbors capable of such a terrible act of violence. I am as imperfect as the Lord made me, Agent Scully. I know my efforts to be better might only amount to some small, meaningless difference in the grand scheme. But there is evil in this world. There is worse than sinners and the culmination of sins. And we must all do our best to find reconciliation. Pardon my forwardness, sir, but that woman in there looks like her eyesight was taken from her. Well, it should. Excuse me? With what she's been through. With what her daughter has put her through. What? Exactly are you saying, Pastor? How was Mrs. Cartwright's eyesight taken from her? She took it herself, Agent Scully. She took her daughter's sin upon herself. Excuse me. Mulder. I've got Daniel at the police station downtown, if this place has any kind of downtown. On my way. Murfreesville Police Department, 8.42 p.m. I already told you, I don't know anything about any explosives. Don't lie to me, Daniel. It's not fair. I'm liable to believe anything if you sell it convincingly enough. Ask my partner. You don't know Joni, okay? She's got a way to her. We know she's your girlfriend, Daniel. You got her pregnant and you took her to get an abortion a month ago. A team of agents is picking through your computer history as we speak. And something tells me you're just bright enough to delete your browser history. You don't understand. She wasn't ready to have any baby. Everybody says she's this angel, all innocent. We know she's not an angel, Daniel. She blew up an abortion clinic. She's killed six people and she's wanted on murder charges. We're talking about domestic terrorism here. She made me take her. She used to be all quiet and content to stay out of sight, but she's changed. She's got this way with people now. She's got followers more and more of them where's she hiding daniel she's not hiding she's coming and you don't want to be around when she gets here daniel can you tell me anything about this book agent Mulder found it in your trailer I i'm i'm just interested in that kind of occult stuff pentagrams ain't nothing sinister about it can we take a break agent Mulder? with pleasure agent scully hey daniel want a sandwich or something I'm okay. Look at you all, balancing your lives as best you can. Right. Right. What you've got against what you want. Amen. What you need against what you dare to acknowledge. True. Honey, True that. you can't possibly know what we want. Don't speak to our well, leader yeah. that way. Yeah. Leader? What are you all doing following her around? She's just a slip of a girl. Well, that woman cannot see the spirit that moves our Joni. That woman is a sinner. She is a sinner. Sinners must pay. Are you for real? Sinners must pay. No! What is that thing? He reveals himself to you, sinner. Sinners must pay. Sinners must pay. Now she is saved. Restraint and lust. Pain and loss. Yes. They think this is about small things, like a clash of values or political disagreement. Amen. But it's more than all that. And I know all of you who have chosen to follow me know what I mean. Yes, we do, Joni. Yeah. Yes, we, we, we do. all know what Joni means. This ain't about small things. He will not abandon us. I will never. We will cleanse this town of sinners. We, we will cleanse. The Lord is my shepherd. He will not abandon me. He will not abandon Stay away from me. He is in our heart. He will not abandon me. Let's talk.
talk in the observation room. We won't be overheard, and there's a one-way mirror, so we can watch Daniel. The kid looks scared. You know, I think Goth Curious there might have gotten that demonology book to earn points with the Satan he imagines worshipping. Mulder, half this town seems to be doing penance, but for what? I, I can't understand. There's something else going on here. The Cartwright family's pastor told me Joni's mother blinded herself over the things her daughter had put her through. How about she blew up the clinic out of guilt, Scully? Over how her mother took the news, over how difficult a decision she was faced with. Mulder, even if you consider the hormonal changes following the end of any pregnancy, even if we allowed for some hypothetical, tidy, illuminating theory involving a psychotic break, there is no record of her involvement with any known groups. From Operation Rescue to Eric Rudolph and the Army of God, it doesn't explain all of this. She wasn't ready to have a baby. So? I don't think it's God that Joni Cartwright is talking to. Look at this book you found in Daniel's trailer. Look what I found under the flyleaf. Look who it belongs to. Property of Alvin Johns. This belongs to the pastor? Yes. Scully, did you leave your pen in that interview room? Oh, I, I must have. Can you see it? It's okay. Daniel's got it. Maybe he stole that pen like he stole this book. But why the book? To help Joni? Or to understand what was going on? Whoa! What's he doing in there? Daniel, no! Somebody call an ambulance. Double eye injury back here. Oh my God, Mulder. I don't know if God oh, covers this, I Scully. Didn't touch her. You gotta believe me. Hold on, Daniel. We called an ambulance. What possessed you to stab yourself in the eyes like that? Agents, Mulder. Scully. Have you called the paramedics? They're all tied up. What do you mean? There's carnage out there. You need to come and see. Get me some bandages first. I have to try and treat this boy myself. Murfreesville, North Carolina. 5.28 a.m. Bodies everywhere. Ballistics is already set up at a mobile lab. As soon as we give the okay, Morales will release additional resources. I say these people were shot with guns traceable to their friends and neighbors. We don't know that. Make you bet on it. Mulder, look at this man. He was shot a couple of times from what I can see, but look at his face. Getting shot hurts, Scully. Looks pretty pale, though. Loss of color is consistent with most skin post-mortem. Only I see a victim whose flesh has turned white as a ghost. Even his hair is white. If he hadn't died of his wounds, he might as easily have died of fear. Okay, let's try to put together what we know so far. An organized mob of citizen defenders following our alleged abortion clinic bomber, Joni Cartwright, roll down Main Street, kicking ass as they see fit and taking names, for starters. Only a few of their fellow churchgoers and Rotary Club members were spared, perhaps out of prior friendship or a nagging sense of community and how we're not supposed to kill one another, I suppose. As for the rest, well, nobody likes all of their neighbors, you do know. But this doesn't explain why some townsfolk are welcomed into the fold while others are mowed down. And it certainly doesn't speak to why everyone in column number three are blinding themselves. Nothing an organized manhunt won't shed some light upon. I'm going to meet with the local authorities to get our search party briefed. We'll find Joni and her motley crew and we'll figure out the whys and hows in due time. Multiple gunshot wounds notwithstanding, there's something else going on with these victims, Mulder. The kind of thing an autopsy would shed some light on? Always with the autopsies when we're out in the sticks. What else can you do? It's not like we're psychic or anything. Maybe we should put a call into Frank Black. No psychics today, Scully. Let's do this ourselves. Great Smoky Mountains, North Carolina, 5.56 a.m. Mom. Mom. Mom! Oh, shh, shh, Lucas. Try and sleep. Don't worry about Mom right now. Don't leave me. Don't leave me, Sarah Beth. Please. It's all right. I'll be right back. He is our heart. He is our shepherd. He is our... Joni? Mm -hmm. Joni Cartwright? Yes. Come closer, child. Oh, I, I, I'd rather not. You're mighty close to that cliff edge there. I don't like heights. There is nothing to be afraid of. Do you know me? Uh, I'm Sarah Beth. I was a couple grades behind you, back in elementary school. Oh, yes. My little brother, Lucas, we... We can't find our mom. I don't know if she didn't come with us, or... or... I remember you, Sarah Beth. 
your mother is in a better place. She needed to see the darkness first before she could see the light. Please. The sun is coming up. Uh, it's a good time to see some things for yourself, child. He is our heart. He is our shepherd. He is our shepherd. He is come. He not abandon us. He is, he is come. come. He is come. He is come. Uh, he is come. I, I he think is I'm gonna come. get back to my brother. He is come. He's never he been away come. from home like this he before. Is and he is come. Uh, he is come. 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 Cherokee County Medical Examiner's Offices, Morgue, 8.17 a.m. Okay, this one is victim number 27, male, late 40s. I count three gunshot entry wounds. The first is present in the right upper chest, level with the jugular notch and below the clavicle, and precisely three and one-third inches to the right of the sternum. Blood loss is heavy, even more so than with similar cases in my experience. As with the other victims, this subject appears to have experienced a vasovagal reaction. Just looking at the eyes. Distinct evidence of neurological trauma is commensurate with corneal burns, indicating prolonged exposure to intense light. Hmm. The victim appears to have been drawn to or even held by something and unable to run away. Mulder. We've got a lead on the cult. Seems they hiked out of town on an old Cherokee trail and are holed up in the mountains. There's a lot of rough terrain up there, pretty inaccessible, also treacherous. A lot of forest clearings open out onto cliffs with sheer drops. It's easy to take a wrong step and fall a couple hundred feet. I'll try not to fall off anything then. That was my plan. How are the autopsies going? Plenty of straightforward deaths by gunshot wounds, but I've got a good few who could have survived those wounds. So what killed them? It would appear, in those cases, the victims were literally scared to death. Is that a technical description, Doctor? No, but medical science is still evolving. And here's the thing. Their eyeballs were seared in the process, as if exposed to an immensely damaging bright light. Like the people in the trailer park. They had this problem with their eyes? Yeah, but they still managed to stop Daniel Hernandez for me. They all seem now to have joined Joni Cartwright on her crusade up in the mountains, or whatever you call it. Now, wait a moment. Didn't you say that Joni's mom had eyes like that? Yes, she did. I'm going to pay that church another visit. There's only one church in this town, and an awful lot of its citizens seem to be very suggestible when it comes to enforcing their spiritual beliefs. And there's something about Pastor John's that doesn't add up for me. Give him hell. Not funny, Mulder. Oh, Agent Scully. I'm afraid Mrs. Cartwright couldn't make it out this morning. But with all the community upheaval and family turmoil, that's hardly difficult to understand. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, Pastor Johns, I came to see you. Ah, oh, well, why don't we step into my office so we can talk in private, hmm? Okay. Great Smoky Mountains, North Carolina. FBI Mobile Command Post. 10.03 a.m. Everybody's here, Agent Mulder. Thanks. Okay, people. Here's a map of the area. Witness reports, along with the recent helicopter sweep of the hillside, puts our suspects about a mile and a half up this trail we're on. First team is going to ascend to this clearing here, while second team prevents anyone from fleeing through a trail running right along there. Remember, this isn't a run-of-the-mill clinic bomber. Let's be careful out here. We move out in five. Has anyone heard from Agent Scully? No one's seen her. Okay, do me a favor and see if you can get Agent her. Agent Mulder! Someone's coming down the trail. Help me! Please! Please! Mom, my little brother's sick! We need paramedics over here now! Just put him down here. <sighs> what happened to his eyes? He, he looked into the brightness! Please! I don't understand what's happening. Just take a step back so we can look at the boy. What's your name, hon? Uh, uh, Easy now. Just breathe. The guys are saying to your brother. Yes. You came from up the mountain, didn't you? You're following Joni Cartwright? I, I never wanted to. But but the others, they were they were so taken with her. Like she could just 
charm them all into following her. Agent Mulder, we need to get this kid to the hospital. Do what you have to do. But Lucas... We're going to take the best care of him we can. Just tell me what happened. Can you do that for me? Why did you run away? What happened? There were a whole bunch of people following Joni out of the town, chanting. Our mom was one of them. Lucas thought she was anyway. I woke up and found him trying to leave the house to find her. I gotta go. Mom went out to speak with those people. I want her to come back. Oh, sweetie, she'll come back. It sounds dangerous out there. No, I want to be with her. I didn't want to take him out there. I saw them shoot so many people. Everyone was under her control. They'd do anything she asked them to. But Lucas wanted to find Mom. I had a bad feeling about it, but he wouldn't come home with me. There were a whole bunch of these followers sweeping us up and, and taking us out of town, up the trail here. And they were all following Joni? Yes. After a while. I wanted to as well. She had this way about her. He's come. He's come. He's come. He's come. He's come. Like a light the people were drawn to. Something huge and bright with... with wings. We made camp, kinda. People put up branches and hung blankets off of them. It was cold, but I hugged Lucas tight. When sunup came, he was still awake and very unhappy. Don't leave me. Don't leave me, Sarah Beth. Please. It's all right. I'll be right back. I, I tried to talk to Joni, but she wasn't listening to anyone. She was standing on the edge of the cliff chanting, and as she was doing that, all the other followers walked up and joined her there. He is our heart. He is our shepherd. He is our shepherd. He will not abandon us. He has come. He has come. He's come. He's come. He's come. I, I think he I'm gonna get back to my brother. He is come. He's never he been away from home like this he before. Is come. And he is come. He is come. I didn't mean he is anything. He is come. Why did you walk away? Uh, I was worried about Lucas. Uh, and there was something else. A voice in my head. I am with you. Faith is favored. I will never abandon you, my child. Follow us. There is no other choice. Like a vision, or...? I felt there were huge wings and a presence. But I was... I was worried about Lucas. And I backed away from it while the rest of them pressed towards the cliff edge. Just as I reached Lucas, it happened. What happened? The light grew so bright, I had to cover my eyes. I didn't know Lucas wouldn't cover his. I only looked again when I heard the scream and start. Screaming? Why was there screaming? They flew away. Flew off the cliff? They walked towards the light and fell. And that's when I found Lucas's eyes were burned. So I picked him up and I brought him here. My God. Mulder to first team. On me. This is a live operation. You okay here, Sarah Beth? Sure. I'm feeling pretty tired. <laughs> kind of weird. Stay here. I'll be back. He's in arrest. Get a charge ready. <sighs> Come on, Lucas. Stay with me. Is everything all right? Hang on, honey. I am with you. I will not abandon you. Charging. I will not abandon Clear. You. No dice. Roll it again. Ready? Clear. That's no good. He's gone. Uh, honey, uh, Sarah Beth, I, I'm sorry, but, but where'd she go? I tend to find the consideration of my own sins deepens my empathy, Agent Scully. Some of these folks place enormous trust and faith in me, and I uh, frequently struggle with whether or not I am up to the task. You're aware that Joni Cartwright had previously terminated a pregnancy. 
She confided as much to me, though I would not advocate such action as all life is precious. I have decided to pray for her soul rather than denounce her. What's that photo? This one? Isn't that Joni with you and her mother? Yes. I've tried to keep a paternal eye on the child. Interesting choice of words, Pastor Johns. Also interesting that the clinic didn't conduct paternity tests or retain the sort of DNA materials necessary to do so, post-procedure. What can you mean, child? There was no verification that Daniel Hernandez was the father of the child Joni aborted. Yet other records show that she had been missing school prior to her pregnancy and termination. Only with permission? Yes. And what I'm curious about, Pastor Johns, is why you were the one signing her out so often. But what? I suspect we may be seeing more of one another, sir. I adore that child, Agent Scully. I have served as her protector. Her protector? How? We are surrounded by evil. Temptation is at every turn. As pastor of this church, I must use everything at my disposal to protect my flock. Does that include the use of the forces represented by a book of demonology? Where did you get that from? I believe Daniel Hernandez came here trying to find a way to help Joni. Something had gotten into her, and he thought you might be able to help. The boy was a lost cause. On the contrary. I think you sent him away as quickly as you could. You were desperate to cover up the fact that you had gotten his teenage girlfriend pregnant, that she had to have an abortion to terminate it, and you resorted to extreme measures to fix the situation before anybody could point a finger at you. This is all supposition. That boy took this book away for a reason, Pastor Johns. You invoke something to help you find a way out of the mess you created. Something that possessed Joni to do your will. But you couldn't control it after that. It bombed the clinic as you had hoped, but it wasn't prepared to be snuffed out just as you had given it back a physical body to work with. It made sure Joni survived. And now it's loose, out there. You can't make any of this stick. Nobody, least of all Joni, would ever verify any claims against my character. You've put a lot of people in harm's way, Pastor Johns. What happens when that thing returns here, to where it was summoned? What tribute will it extract from you? Get out. Get out! Mulder. Mulder, pick up. Someone up ahead, Agent Mulder. Standing on the edge of the clearing. It's Joni Cartwright. That's a cliff edge, Mulder. Don't get too close. I won't. Joni? I'm a federal agent. Stay where you are. Get down on the ground with your hands above your head. I, I didn't mean to hurt anybody. Turn around, Joni. I wasn't ready to have no baby. Nobody wants anyone else to get hurt, Joni. Now I need you to just turn around and kneel on the ground and he just... He said he'd never leave me. She's going to step off the cliff. Joni, don't. I can't. I'm sorry. Holy shit. His body is everywhere. Scully? Mulder, I'm on my way up the trail. I think I've solved the mystery of Johnny Cartwright's immaculate conception. Mulder? Are you okay? Yes. No. Joni just threw herself off a cliff, like the rest of her followers. Oh my god. They all stepped off into the void. I thought we'd been assigned to a domestic terror case, but the reality is something a lot darker. You're right. This isn't about abortion or religious politics. We aren't hunting what we thought we were hunting. Mulder, it defies logic how an entire town full of presumably God-fearing people chose to take their own eyesight. But I do have one explanation. Scully, you know when it comes to the paranormal, I'm well out of my depth. Joni Cartwright believed she was talking to God. But he wasn't who was listening. He wasn't what took over these events. This... this was possession. Her last words to me didn't sound like she was anything but a sad and confused kid. She seemed herself again? I'd say so. If she was able to commit suicide, she can't have been still carrying whatever it was that possessed her. So, where did it go? Hello? 
Who's there? Well, who is it? I am with you. Come closer, child. You called me. Is that you? Sarah Beth? You called me and now I am with you! 